All right, you guys, this lesson is your second review for your final second semester in our groovy geometry class. So remember, an acute right or obtuse triangle, well, if we know the side lengths, A, B, and C, where C is the largest side, it's going to be an acute triangle if C squared is less than A squared plus B squared. Does that ring a bell? It's a right triangle when it equals. It's an obtuse triangle when C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared. And don't forget, you guys, it's not a triangle if when you add two sides together and it's not greater than the third side. It can't be equal. It has to be greater than the third side right there. Okay, so decide if the segment lengths can form a triangle. And if they can, tell whether the triangle is acute, right, or obtuse. Okay, what about these two guys? Can that be a triangle? Is 24 plus 45 bigger than that? Yeah, it could be a triangle. So 51's the bigger one. So we want to see what's the relationship with 51 squared and 24 squared plus 45 squared. Okay, so when we square all of that stuff, we find out that they're equal. So this is a right triangle. Okay, all right, how about this one? Okay, so we got a radical. Okay, 3 root 17 to figure out the decimal to figure out that this one is the bigger side. Square root of 17 is like a 4.1, okay, because the square root of 16 is 4. So 3 times 4.1 is going to be a little bit more than 12, so it's about 12.4. Okay, and since 7 plus 11 is greater than that, then yes, it can be a triangle. But now we know that this is the bigger side. So we want to square that, okay? So when we square a number with a radical, we square the number. We square the radical, and then we multiply those squares together. And this is 49. This is 121 right there, okay? So here we go. Square 3, square the radical. We get 9 times 17, which is 153. So what relationship does 153 have with 49 and 121? It's less than, therefore it's an acute triangle, okay? All right, find the unknown side lengths and write the answers in simplified radical form. So we've got to use the good old Pythagorean theorem. X squared equals 4 squared plus 6 squared. We get 16 plus 36. So X is the square root of that. And then when you prime factorize 52, uh, it's 2 times 2 times 13. So two twos come out as 1, 2 on the outside. So 2 root 13, all right? Uh, this guy right here, okay, so this is x, so x squared plus 10 squared equals 2 root 34 squared, okay? So when we square that, we get 4 times 34, because we square 2, 2 squared is 4, root 34 squared is 34, and then we're going to multiply 4 times 34, and then we'll subtract. So 4 times 34 is 136, subtract 100 from both sides, we get x equals 6. All right, so you guys will have a take-home quiz. It's just due tomorrow, first thing tomorrow. And if I don't see you tomorrow, we're on a block schedule. You can hear my kids in the background working on their dollhouse projects. But that's going to be your 27-point um, uh, quiz right there. All right, take care.